There are three rules for writing a novel. Unfortunately, nobody knows what they are. There is no foolproof and globally accepted formula for how to write well. But nevertheless, when we write for digital, formats we consider are the following. One, go in with your knickers down. State what you want. Don't be subtle. People don't have the time or the patience. Two, be more human. Make your writing approachable and personal. Gone are the days of the austere voice of God brand. People buy people and customers understand more than ever that great businesses are made up of great individuals. So embrace that and connect. Number three, use your voice. Being more human means being yourself. When writing, follow the Stephen King rule and try not to overthink. He says the basic rule of vocabulary is use the first word that comes to your mind. Number four, tell a story. Paint it so that your reader can see, touch, and feel the experience. Did you ever play rugby at school? I still wake up at night and remember the sting of pressing my frozen fingertips against my red cheeks to try and revive them. Worse still is the vision of the cold, heavy metal scaffolding structure wrapped in gym mats that our PE teacher would tip his head towards as we trudged back in from training. This gesture meant that we were to use that last ebb of energy from our lifeless, hail-stung bodies to shunt this contraption back into the sheds. It looked a bit like the V of a bulldozer, like a traditional ox plow. It sadistically dug into the ground. To complete this pointless task, it was necessary to churn a huge, squelching, muddy channel out of the ground to drive it home. Twenty of us would collectively charge, force it back a few inches and go again and again and again. Finally, after an eternity, we'd be allowed back into defrost the in the mercifully warm shower. I expect it was character building. Well, that is what it's like writing a book. Number five, keep it short. One should use short words, short sentences, and short paragraphs, says David Ogilvy. Get to the point and say it in the least number of words. When your writing is becoming drawn out, ask yourself the following question. What am I trying to say here? Then rewrite the sentence using the simple answer to that question. Number six, keep it simple. This does not mean that you have to lose depth or dumb it down. There's a difference between dumbing down what you write and simplifying it. Take writers like John Steinbeck, Dr. Seuss, and Ernest Hemingway. Each is known for the powerful and evocative writing, but are both equally accessible to readers at all ends of the flesh Kincaid readability test spectrum. Seven, remove nothing statements. To give your writing more confidence and clarity, remove clunky words and phrases that exist for no reason. Here are some examples. In order to is just to. In terms of, if you're using this at the start of your sentences or clauses, switch your subject and verb. For example, in terms of digital marketing, it's a must in today's retail climate. Could be changed to, in today's retail market, digital marketing is a must. The fact that, don't use this or just use since instead. Needless to say, is self-explanatory, so don't use it. In actual fact, basically or actually, just don't need to exist in any sentence at all. And don't have we understand that in your sentences. If you understand something, demonstrate empathy instead. Saying tailored to your specific or individual requirements or your unique circumstances is what everybody says, so try to avoid it. Be more explicit and avoid things like solutions or global innovation. Be more explicit. Don't undersell your business. Number eight, use bullet points. They break up information, and when you look at a section of copy, your eyes will naturally be drawn first to that bullet point section. They act as a focal point and quick conveyor of useful information. Just don't plaster your page with them. Number nine, avoid jargon. There's a difference between jargon and complex language. Just be sure that you're not using words that are intended to bamboozle, and be aware that the words you take for granted may be jargon to everybody else. Number 10, avoid weeing all over the place. Your customer is the hero, so just avoid excessive use of we. Number 11, write drunk and edit sober. Ernest Hemingway tells us that. Take a space between when you write and when you publish, and drink lots.